Hi everybody, it's Hildy at Kalunga 2126 and I'm having technical difficulties with my chair. Okay, um, this is like the second time I'm trying to do this video. So, um, here goes. I was on, I was watching the other day on YouTube and um, I don't remember if it was Amy or Nurse Laurel, but they sent me to Luisa Diaz page, and oh my God, that lady does gorgeous jobs. I mean, her projects projects come out so beautiful. But anyway, she made a card called the um the exploding easel or easel exploding card. And I really wanted to mimic what she did with the little, you know, the little bit of stuff I have. I didn't have everything she had, but I improvised, and this is what I've come up with. So hold on. <clears throat> okay, ladies. This is my card. And it's not as, you know like hers is I mean they're gorgeous her work is gorgeous and you know she has a lot of materials and I'm still um, I'm you know I'm still working on um getting things but you know I work with what I got so this is what I've come up with so far and um, I still have to do a little more but I actually just finished I just have to add a little bit to my new um stick pins that I did okay so this is my wannabe exploding easel card by by me it wasn't by it so I'm gonna start with the stick pins these are brand new stick pins that I've just made I really love these these were from an old pair of earrings that I had and so were the blue ones of course, blue is my favorite color. I always try to incorporate blue in everything, no matter what shade of it it is. And this one, it's really blue, but when you move it around, you see greens, purple, yellows, orange. And that's what I really love about this one. Okay, so I used my mind's eye paper. And for the background, being the inside, I use this paper. It's double sided, it has two colors. So this part I put right here, and this part I put down here. I'm gonna use my little my thing right here. I use right here. And it's this paper right here, I use this one. Ho hopefully I'm in focus. Let me see real quick. If you can see my easel, you can see this. Okay. All right, now. So she was showing how you first do the back page, which has like um, a mesh type of thing. Since I don't have any of that, I improvised and I got some golf. <laughs> golf. You know, that you find in the medical supplies. I went into my um I went into my medicine cabinet and got these and just opened them up, you know, completely. And I got like this material net. Sort of someone like she had. Only difference that she had something like this plus an actual metal type of um mesh wiring and she had it in the background I don't have that so I just use that and since I don't have that um gesso mod pod stuff what I did is my girlfriend um gave me a couple of these and this is what they use in school for kids is safe painting you know ready to use and um I use this and that's how I got these little whites in here and also use the paint to hold the the, the gauze the gauze down and um, I dabbed around pushed it down let it dry um, didn't really let it dry 
and um but before I did that I did spritz my gauze with um I got this for 10 cents <laughs> my ditto glimmer spray and it's a no it says gl um, ditto glimmer spray but it's like a burgundy it's real beautiful it's like a burgundy if you can see that my hand out the way okay so I use that on the actual gauze and that's what gives this blue coloring right here let me move my lighting around maybe I need better lighting so I won't have a shadow casting okay so that's how I, and then I came and I got the paper I turned it around and I put some of the paint behind it and I put it down and since this is the only glitter mist I have, what I did to give this paper a little bit of glitter is I put a little bit of my silver stickles on a piece of paper and I got my um my paintbrush, um, which is I just washed it so it's put away. I mean it's drying. And I dabbed around the page with the um, with the silver stickles to give it like a little glittery look. I don't know if you can even see or tell okay so um I did that and these flowers I got them from the dollar store and this is Trico it was a pack of six but I don't have too many left now I used that these right here I got from um not sure if it's Michaels or AC Moore, but I know it was on sale, so I grabbed them. So I got them, and what I did is I distressed them with a little bit of red and brown, being the red from Studio G, and my famous chocolate brown that I always use from um, Craft Smart. Oh, and I also distressed the edges. Since I don't have that little round um, tool that you use to distress the edges, I went to my boyfriend and I said, um, I need something to distress my edges. I need a blade. I need something. So he goes, voila, his shaving knife. <laughs> so I said, you know you're hit now. You know you might not get this back. He said, well, I'm getting it back. I said, okay, we'll see. But anyway, it's mine. Okay, so I distressed the edges. I don't know if you can really tell, but I did. That was the first time I did it. I really had fun with that. Okay, so I put it down. And, like, again, I didn't have much, like, all those flowers. All the flowers that I've been making are very huge. So, I didn't want to put huge flowers. So, I kind of kept it simple. So, I put the two flowers, um, the stick pins. I really love these stick pins. And this hat, I actually made this hat myself. Um, she put in hers a tea kettle. And it was so beautiful that she fussy cut from a pattern that she on one of her pa pa pattern papers that she had so I didn't have anything like that um, I was thinking of making another boot like I did for my sign but I said you know I wanted something different so let's see if you can see a little better hold on okay my hat I came and I watercolored it with um, lavender and um, ocean blue. I also used my my liquid pearl baby blue and I also used the stickles. I also used the stickles here at the bottom and then I put that glassy accent on top also as well on the flower wanna wannabe flower and um, I know I wanted to add a butterfly, so I added one of the butterflies that I made prior. And basically, is um, my friend Joanne gave me this little goodie bag of these one, two, five petal roses. Five petal roses, I mean, five petal flowers. And how you do it is just you either tuck it in. You can keep it like that, but I snip it off, and that's just how I get the butterfly shape. By snipping it off, and I have, you know, the two. I look for really the ones that are really more separated, 
so when I tuck it in the petals look a little you know more butterflyish so what I did is I distressed a little bit of the petals with um also my Studio G ink the red to um to give it a little hint of red I don't know if you can really see it but it has a little bit of hint of red and these are the stickles that I added to it and these are those decoration um stones that you put inside vases that I got from the dollar store so these have really been coming in handy for me and what I did is I put you know the blue and like this um yellowish or I guess not really yellow it looks yellow here now but it matches the pattern that's on the actual paper this pattern right here is almost like a brown but it kind of with the distress it turns kind of yellow so I put those two yellows and um, of course with the with the paint the white paint I came and I just dabbed around the flowers the um the butterfly the stones and with the also with the the paint I pushed back um the mo the not the moss <laughs> the galls the golf I know I'm saying it wrong and you know I curled it in I, I was trying to get them as curly as hers but mine didn't come out that good and I wasn't sure what to put down here and my boyfriend tells me why don't you just use the same paper I said well I'm going to do that he said why don't you use you know one of your punches I said you know, I said I don't think any of my punches is going to look right but anyway I looked through my so called many punches which is ain't a lot um and I have this old um my very first punch which by recollection and um recollections and I guess this is I don't know a lace or doily or something this type of pattern I don't know I never wrote the name maybe I should write start writing the names or something um spiral rock gloria she does that and that's not a bad idea to write the name so I hole punched it and added that and with um also got for recollections on um for Christmas I had got a gift certificate from my sister so I had bought some things and I bought these um brads which you have medium size and miniature size so I used the medium medium size to um put the brads right here to hold my card now I'm debating what I'm going to put inside because she put like a little piece of metal and then she put sister in the inside and this is going to be for my sister her birthday she's going to turn um, 41 and um, I wanted to put maybe sisterly love or maybe her name in glitter I don't know ladies um, help me out her birthday's on the 23rd I don't know if I should just put sisterly love or her name in the middle um, I was thinking of maybe writing it out and maybe embossing it on a piece of paper. I really like the whole metal concept that she did, but again, um, I don't have those type of pieces. And I'm not sure what to put down here. Um, maybe just keep it covered. Um, maybe add more flower. Well, I don't know. I don't got. To, well, all the flowers are big. I don't know. But you know, kind of help me out, ladies. I don't know. Maybe I should write "Happy Birthday" here and then put a tag like she did in the inside and put my message on the inside and um one last thing also i have to do is on the back ah anyway i gotta, I gotta put them on i'm gonna put a strip i'm gonna put a strip of the the color stock oh the color stock is uh creations by recollections i'm gonna put a strip right here and i'm gonna put my logo which is is, is homemade with love and then i sign my name because I don't really have an official stamp. I don't have stamps like that for it. Not just yet, but I'm working on it. I'm going to put this back. So this is my ex my version of um, Luisa Diaz Explosion Card. Ladies, let me know what you think. Hit me up with some ideas. What can I put in the inside? I was thinking of maybe getting some aluminum foil and um, getting like a piece of cardstock or something and maybe cutting it a certain way and then folding the foil around it and um, 
I don't know. Can you emboss on foil? I've never tried it. I don't want the, <laughs> you know, I don't want the stuff to burn either. But, um, ooh, sorry about that. I don't know. Let me know what I can put. You know, give me ideas. Um, what can I put for the inside and what can I put right here? Should I just put happy birthday here and then, I don't know, maybe put stamps or something? I don't know. This is my first time. So, um, I can really use your help. Um, again, it's not like hers that is gorgeous. But, you know, I'm kind of feeling this one. It's kind of cute. You know, it's kind of cute. I like it for my first one. I don't think it's bad. So, again, you know, this is my card. I'm proud of myself. You know, that hat is a wannabe vintage hat, by the way. It wants to be vintage, but it's working to be vintage. <laughs> and my stick pens. I'm going to dab them a little bit with um, the white paint as well to dye it down so it can blend in. So, thanks for coming. Um, thanks for subscribing. And please, leave a comment. Help me out. Let me know. Should I put her name inside with glitter or, like I said, with the aluminum? I don't even know if I can do any of that. But, um, you know, help me out. Let me see what, you know, what I'm going to see what I can come up with. But, uh, again, thanks for coming. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for any comments. And much love, Hildy. Bye.